Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm very excited to share with you a super easy, beginner-friendly guitar song entitled Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. This is one of the songs that was submitted via the link in the description. So, if you have a song that you would like for me to teach next, definitely click through and put in your request. Let's get started. One, two, and three, and four, and... Rise up this morning and smile with the rising sun. With three little birds, sit by my doorstep, singing the sweet songs of melodies pure and true. Singing, this is my message to you. Singing, don't. Okay, a close look at the fretboard with the guitar and standard tuning. Now we're going to begin with a beginner friendly version of the intro before tackling a more advanced version. It's going to sound like this. Okay, so all I have going on there, my middle finger is on the 10th fret of the B string. And I'm in what we call a major scale position. This means that if I played whole step, whole step to the first finger of the high E string, ninth fret, half step, and whole step, I would have the first one, two, three, four, five notes of my major scale in the key of A. So the first part of this beginner friendly version will have, that was just 10, 10, 12, 10. 10, 10, 12, 10. Next, my pinky is going to stretch over to the high E string 12th fret, then the 9th fret, and then basically just going back down the scale, pinky on the 12th fret B, and then back to 10. And the whole thing will repeat. Now notice that my middle finger never has to leave throughout this entire melody. Okay, so you have that beginner-friendly version of the intro melody down. And maybe you're ready to add in a little bit of rhythm to that melody. It's gonna sound like this now, ready? This is definitely more advanced. Basically what I'm doing here is setting up an A chord using the shape C. This is a, like a C major chord that we would have down here in the open positions, obviously with different fingers though. Our pinky is on the 12th fret of the A string. The ring finger is on the 11th fret of the D string. My middle finger is on the 10th fret B string, just like it was in this beginner friendly version. And my first finger is barred, draped across the 9th fret from the A string to the high E string. All right, so I have this A major chord. Now the way I do this is I pluck the A string and then I strum down nice and short. Just like that. Usually down to my B string, not down to the high E string. That will sound fine if you do. Then I'm gonna play the lick as usual Never taking my middle finger off the B string. 
Now, the other thing that I could do to make it sound a little bit more lush, pluck the root, nice short stroke, staccato, and then strum down nice and soft to that B string, from the A string to the B string. And then continue on with the melody. Now I usually play that about four times before going in to my chorus, which actually starts off this song. Okay, with our intro section complete, we're ready to take a look at the chorus. Now, the only chords we're gonna be needing for this entire song, verse and choruses, just A major, D major, and E major. Now this is what we call a one, four, five progression in the key of A. This means that if you looked at the A major scale, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, that we would find that A was the first note, D is the fourth note, and E is the fifth note. One, four, five. One, four, five. Okay, a quick demonstration of the chorus with just simple whole note strums. The A major chord will come in, don't worry, two, three, about a thing. Go to the D major chord. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. And three, the whole thing repeats singing, don't worry. About a one, two, three. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Three, four. So all we have in that progression. A major chord, eight beats. The D major chord, four beats. And then back to the A chord for four more slow beats. But we're gonna apply a reggae strumming pattern with all upstrokes, basically the way we do this. We're going to slap the guitar and then upstroke, nice and short, going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then, as we slap the strings again, we're gonna to switch to the D chord. And stay there for four beats. Now it's very important that you switch chords as you slap, so that way you're ready for the next upstroke, which will be on the uh, preceding chord. And three and four and one and two and three and four D. And then back to the A chord, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up. Okay, so for the beginners out there, it's gonna take a lot of time and practice to get the coordination to continue slapping as you transition to the next chord. Once you've gotten there, you're gonna hit the upstroke. So let's practice it real slow. Remember, we're slapping all the numbered beats and upstroking on all of the ends in between. For example, one and two and three and four. Okay, let's try that at a slower tempo. We're gonna go eight beats on A, four beats on D, four beats back on A. One and two and three and four. Here we go. Slap, up, 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 switch, up, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up, switch, up, slap, up, slap, up, slap. Okay, congrats to everyone who's made it this far. Now that you have your chorus down, you're ready to move into the verse. Now I'm gonna get started with a very slow demonstration with just the whole note strums. Then once we have that down, we'll add back in that reggae rhythm. Starting with the A major chord again, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three. Rise up this morning and smile with the rising sun with three little birds sit by my doorstep singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true singing this is my message to you okay so all we're going to have uh, in terms of the progression a major chord four beats e major chord four beats this is a new one for if you don't know it middle fingers on the a string second fret third finger beneath that First finger on the first fret of the G string, E major. Then we're gonna go back to the A chord, stacking those fingers up, four beats. 
then four beats on D. So far we have A4, E4, A4, D4. Then another progression, very simple. A4, E4, D4, A4. So the entire verse will be A, E, A, D, A, E, D, A. So that way it resolves. Okay, now that you have those verse chords down, let's see if you can apply the reggae rhythm. Remember, we have to switch on those slaps. So with the A major chord fret it, one and two and three and four. Ready? Slap, up, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up, switch, up, slap, up, slap, up. And back to A. Here comes that D chord, switch. E and D and back to A. So every single chord is getting that same pattern. Slap up, slap up, slap up, slap up, E slap. Okay, so if you have all that down, your intro melody. Maybe playing that a little bit more advanced. Your chorus and also your verse chord progressions with the reggae strumming, you have everything you need to perform. Congratulations on all of your progress. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, definitely click through the link in the description and request a song for my next lesson. I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.